Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. From my students are a few brothers who came to me and they asked me this issue that I thought about and I say, yeah, I'll deal with it. And that is, is it from the religion of Al-Islam to test brothers and sisters right now with different contemporary sheikhs who are living, specifically Sheikh Rabir and Madkhali? Is it permissible for me to come to someone and say, what's your position in your opinion about Al-Albani? What's your position in what you think about a Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen? What's your position? What do you think about a Sheikh Fulan or Alan? Ma Sheikh Ali Al-Halabi? What's your position concerning him? Rahmatullah Ali. Can we do that? Let me first say that. We have, from the statements of the Salaf, no doubt about that, that the Salaf used to test people with questions similar to this as it relates to some of the Imams during that time. Al-Imam Ahmed, Al-Madini, Sufyan al people like that. They would ask people, what do you think about Sufyan al What do you think about Al-Imam Ahmed? Uh, I heard a clip of Abu Khadija saying that uh, if someone dislikes Sheikh Rabi'ah, yeah. then no, he's a Mubtadi. Yeah. Yeah. If someone hates Sheikh Rabi'ah, yeah. he dislikes, dislikes. Yeah. Someone says, I dislike Sheikh Rabi'ah, yeah. automatically yeah. he's a Mubtadi. Yeah. 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 Yeah
So some mothers and fathers use this as a delil to blackmail their kids. Don't you see this hadith of Umar? Rasulullah told Ibn Umar, listen to your father and obey him. The scholars of today and the scholars that came after that, they said concerning this particular incident that is real. If a mother or a father today told their wife, their son or daughter, divorce your husband, divorce your wife. And then the mother and the father used this hadith and this incident of Umar telling his father to divorce his, telling the son to divorce his wife, the scholars say, as it relates to that real incident, that authentic incident, to the father, are you Umar? Are you Umar that your son shall listen to you to that degree? Or you're a person who doesn't pray five times a day. You're a person who believes in Hazar and Nazar. You're a person who gambles. You're a person who's not doing your Islam. Why should your child obey you and you don't even know the deen? Are you Umar for him to obey you like that? So the issue is not in right now, should he obey his dad? Should he not obey his dad? But the issue is how do we understand the effort and the hadith of Umar saying, divorce her and the prophet supporting him on that. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam anhum. So when people want to come to us and say, we're going to test the people with a Sheikh Rabir, Shafahullah. We're going to test the people. If you like them, you're good. If you don't like them, there's something wrong with you. We're going to say, is Sheikh Rabir like Sufyan Thawri? Is Sheikh Rabir like Al-Imam Malik, Al-Imam Al-Bukhari, Al-Imam Ahmed? Then I say what the other scholars who are contemporary said right now. Like a Sheikh Abdullah, Abdul Muhsin al Abad, and other than him. This is not from the religion. To test people with the likes of Sheikh Rabir and people doing our time. Not just him, but other people doing our time. We don't test people like that. If you like them, if something is good with you, you're with us. If you don't like them, then you're not, you're, you're not, you're not on the hop. May Allah Ta'ala give us balance in our deen. And protect us from the mutala'ibin. And the people who want to politicize Islam and weaponize Islam from those who are from the kharijin and the dakhilin in our bilad. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.